This week I'll be making my way across Lake Kariba, Zimbabwe with safari debutants Tom and Jen to hunt for leopard, elephant and a bunch of planes game right here in the Ome north of Zimbabwe. Swift Bullet Company presents This is Africa. Closed captioning is sponsored by the Zimbabwe Professional Guide Association. Ethics are everything. All right, so we're going to be shooting Blazer R8 professional success today. Uh, we've actually got two barrels for the 375, which we have on here right now. And then the other one is a 300 Win Mag. It's a great rifle, really nice. You can switch out the barrels super quick and easy. Very, very accurate rifle, so I'm looking forward to using it. We're good. good. Okay, so the brain is situated in here. This is the eye socket, the ear is here. So if he's broadside, if we're shooting him in the water, broadside you want to put it just to the right of the ear. Okay. Just in front of the ear, same level with the, with the ear and the eye. Okay. Um, if he's frontal, he has a V in the, in the top of his head like this. Right. You want to hit him at the base, it's, it's like a triangle like this. Right. Okay, you want to hit him on the base of the triangle in between his eyes at the base of the triangle. Perfect. So I mean. we're gonna go look for a hippo now. Um, it's ideal for baits. It makes eight quick baits. It lasts a lot longer. Tom, there's a, there's a bull that's come, he's swimming along here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna go down here to this, behind this island and try and see if we can get him close. Cool. Okay. A lot of time during the stock, I am, I'm, I'm just so incredibly grateful I'm just taking in all of my surroundings to be able to touch the nature around me, to be able to breathe the fresh air, uh, to feel the breeze on my skin. So he's broadside right now. If you're comfortable, squeeze it off. Good hit. He's gone. Good job, Jim. Now that, that is now what we call blankets. Oh. Well done. Thanks, man. That was a great shot. Very well done. Woo. What a shot. That's a very good shot. Well done, Benham. Thank you. 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 Thank we are good to go. Good shooting, tough shot. It was a long shot, you know, it was pretty far out there in the lake and everything, and so uh, it was good. She finished it off quick, and so now we'll go see what you got. I think it's gonna be bigger than we expected. <laughs> so this should uh, this should cover us for, I think, like eight, eight baits or something like that. So we'll get these up in a bunch of trees and everything, and we'll see what sort of leopards show up. Fortunate enough, we had Jane on the sticks, who is a really good shot. She's really comfortable on a rifle. Not a shot we take all the time. Obviously, the distance was was a bit further than I'd like, but I had faith that she could do it. Good hit. At the end of the day, look, it's a great shot, first animal of the day, and just a great experience for her. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you have been amazing. It's been an amazing experience. Tom, you got a little bit of uh, living up to do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby! Wow. Wow. Oh my god, he is massive. See that growth on the side of his face? Wow. Oh. No, oh, it's weird. He's got a tooth coming out the side of the top of his mouth there. Wow. Never seen before. Just to catch fish, watch the elephants on the lake shore, catch a few tiger or, or big catfish. It's the most relaxing feeling you've ever had. And I think it's a great way just to, to, to unwind a little bit for the afternoon, 
reset and start again in the morning. Do a double hook. And now we got a Vundu bait. This segment was brought to you by Right On Optics. The bullet. The least expensive, most important part of your hunt. It's the only contact you have with the animal. Swift bonded core technology provides great accuracy, controlled expansion, high weight retention, and deadly terminal performance. Swift A-frame, Scirocco, and the new breakaway solid. All bullets without equal. Available in components and loaded ammunition. Contact SwiftBullets.com for product availability. We are a company of firearms professionals, hunters, soldiers, officers, and family. As part of the Right on Promise, we provide the best customer service, including an industry-leading warranty. We won't repair, we'll just replace. We believe a person's hard-earned dollar should buy quality optics at any price point. This segment is brought to you by the Houston Safari Club Foundation. For Yanni and I, what we're over here for, you know, we've done lots of hunting in the past and done different things ourselves, uh, but this one was all about Thomas and Jen. And quite frankly, for us to be there and see them with this life experience uh, was just very special for us. <laughs> hey, there you go. That's a bull. Now he's running. Yes. Okay, reel down. There you go, well done. It's not a small fish. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Yes, my boy! This is a Vundu fish. This is a really good one. Um, they are edible, but the big, big ones like this, we put them back and let them carry on with life. Well done, Jen. Oh, Very well you. done. Go, buddy. Whee! Without being part of the plan, we had a croc had been feeding on some of the bait, and uh, we caught him on our fishing line. He was trying to away. Oh, he's like, oh man, he's trying to get away. Come, 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 come. Okay. Really? You broke it off? Come on. Okay. Go on, Zed. Oh, he's pulling. You got him, brother. Okay. Well, Don't break, break, yeah. so. So we are now in the mix of a Ome croc oh. fight. And the Mdada is hopefully not going to go to the Mvura. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, the ball and she gone. Jenny, what's, what's, what's the problem? Um, it's really, really smelly. <laughs> Ooh, horrible. The worst thing I think I've ever smelled in my life. It's only gonna get tastier. That's from this bucket. <laughs> <laughs> from the hippo, which we shot three days ago. <laughs> it can't get worse than this. <laughs> Not bad yet. Not bad yet. Yeah. Oh, no. Better. After seven days, it should be no better. No, that's why I said we're getting our leopard. I said first first night we're gonna get our leopard. So, the first night that we're able to, we're gonna get our leopard. Okay. So Jen, that wasp is actually got a a paralyzing sting. So what he does is he finds a spider. They have a battle stings it and then it's paralyzed so that spider is not actually dead it's just paralyzed oh my god he's going a long ways look at him go man she will actually lay eggs in the spider and when the eggs hatch the spider is still alive and the the larva of the wasp will then feed on the live spider that's still paralyzed andy and i have been watching this little guy carry this massive spider all the way back from uh, behind the truck 
the burbab tree, that big thick tree. Um, so I don't know if you can get the full appreciation on camera, but it is a long way. Whew, I'm tired just watching him. So it's the morning of day four and we are approaching our most likely bait that may have been hit, so holding fingers, yeah. Imbada Eripo. We the hope. bird is here. No, no, we don't know that yet. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. But we almost know. We know. We are optimistic. I can feel it. Imbada. Let's see what happens. Imbada. Looks like we've got some leopard track here. This is really close to our bait site where uh, there's the dead hippo in the river. So it was uh, pretty exciting to see track in this area. So it's a nice cat. And this is the hyena. You can see the two bulbs at the back. So the hyena has two bulbs at the back like this. And you can see his toes are very close together. Whereas the leopard, you can see there's three bulbs. <laughs> no, but this is exciting. So Dalton's going to check right now if the bait's been hit. But it's nuts seeing the tracks up on the road. You know, walking back and forth on the road, leading right down here. I mean, it's basically like they were following the truck. No, this one's not the brightest. I think we have a leopard that has coronavirus, struggling to smell. He's walked right, right across it, but he's now following the drag the opposite direction. Our biggest thing is this hippo, I think, is interfering with our whole system. Yeah. But we're going to re-drag now and leave a lot more, a bit of intestines in the tree to yeah. make it smell. Because he's literally walked around it, He's got onto the drag and he's following the drag. <laughs> so I'm not... Drive down yeah. and get stupid sometimes. Yeah, this one's not the brightest. This segment was brought to you by African Sporting Creations. The Houston Safari Club is for anyone who likes to hunt. It's for the love of the outdoors. It's to give all of us as individuals a voice. Ever wanted to hunt whatever, wherever in the world, somebody in the club has done it and can point you in the right direction. We have met some of our very close friends through Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. Join the Houston Safari Club Foundation to increase your knowledge of the hunting world. This segment is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. We're looking for a, few, a bit more bait, so they run off a little bit, but we're just going to try and get on them again. And hopefully Jen can get a good shot in. We found two different herds crossing paths, but the problem was the bush was just too thick. That's moved, that's moved away. Okay, let's come on. So we would see them, but the shot just wasn't there. So we just kept coming into this beautiful area here where immediately broadside just looking at us was a beautiful bush buck and uh, kept coming forward and then all of a sudden to the right we see a herd of impala moving across. Oh, I earned that one. <laughs> well done. Thank you, man. <laughs> oh, thanks well for not done. giving up on me. Yeah, well done. Ah. She worked hard for this one. We've been running around the jet for a few hours, but we've managed a bit of patience. The joy and just exhilaration when after a really long stock, an animal comes out and presents itself, and it's an old animal, and it's exactly what you need. And it just feels like it was meant to be. And uh, whew, it feels amazing. I don't know, uh, they say when you have kids, it's the most amazing feeling in your life. Maybe one day I'll have a child and it'll beat this, but until then, this is it. <laughs> this is Africa. very particular with where I put my baits just to make sure that it has a, a really high possibility of getting a cat on bait. 
Hunting leopard can be very tiresome and tedious. You know, hanging baits and checking baits, it never really stops. But when you do get a really big tom, hit your bait, the excitement level goes right up. So we just showed up here and uh, we saw a track. We actually managed to park right on top of it. The track looked really good. So uh, Dalton went in and checked it out. And sure enough, the bait had been hit. This is our first bait that's been hit, so very excited. Uh, a little more investigation showed that it looks like it's a male and a female. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to take the bait because it's been fed on for the last two nights. Uh, and we're bringing up an Impala to hang up in there as a fresh bait for them to keep them interested in everything. And then uh, you know, we'll see where it goes from there. But uh, I think this is a, it's got a lot of potential. This is our first bait that's been hit. It's uh, lots of elephant in the area and it's buggy. But sure enough, they hit that bait right over there. Last night they fed. Uh, we're going to let them feed for one more night just to get a bit more comfortable and then uh, tomorrow we're going to set up, get everything ready and uh, hopefully have a chance at shooting a really nice leopard. It's just you know, this gradual building of anticipation and excitement with each new stop you go to. I mean, it's, it's an emotional roller coaster for sure. This segment was brought to you by Woodbury Taxidermy. So the biggest thing that we also look at too here at Woodbury's is it doesn't matter what type of animal it is or the size of that animal. Everybody brought it here because it's important to them. You know, when we're doing life size stuff with habitat with grasses and bases and the wood that's there and the dirt that's there, all of those little bitty details make a huge difference in the end product. I guarantee you that you'll have it for life. This segment is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. And I know leopard hunting can be a real roller coaster of emotions. So I decided to put Tom's grit to the test. Nothing. You said nothing's there? Nothing. Figure something out. How's the roller coaster so far? <laughs> it's definitely a roller coaster. And I thought we had two good spots yesterday. I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. Luckily, we still got time. So. We'll check now. I just need to check, but have you done a lot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Would you expect anything else? <laughs> Andy messing with me, telling me it wasn't it. This is gonna be good. Can't wait to get those videos downloaded. This is def this is definitely him though. But you can see how thick he is, and he's got this very thick rosettes here on the side here. Yeah. He's beautiful. You see, he's lifting that holy hippo. Oh wow! Jeez. That's some strength. Mm -hmm. Check out his forearms as well. Yeah. You see how his face is yeah, like stout, nice yeah. Mm. Nice thick teeth too. He's got a thick neck, eh? What is that, a ball back? Hey, him. There's a young male, mm. and there's the big male. It's, this is the younger male. Yeah. This is the bigger one. Right. <coughs> He's clearly way stockier. Right? Yeah. But it's definitely, it's two males. Okay. which is great for me. Just have to be a bit patient and uh, hopefully the bigger one comes first. If not, and the smaller one comes, we know the bigger ones will come later. So we just got to be patient and make sure we don't make any mistakes. So we're shooting uh, Swift A-frames, 300 wind mag. Good mag. So obviously when you have three cats on bait like that, you've got a young male, a really big male, a female. You know, shooting at night is obviously an advantage in one sense, 
but in that sense it's, it's a disadvantage because you're having to judge a cat by, by, by light. You've got to be really patient, cautious um, and just take your time. If you're not sure, don't pull the trigger and don't give the command either. I think with a leopard like that, he's obviously he's played the game, he's jumped a few lights, he's been in this situation before, so he knows what he's doing. Are you ready, Tom? He jumped the lights eight, nine times, and you know, you're just trying to think, okay, well, maybe let me just put a torch on him, maybe he'll give me a bit more, a few more seconds. What can I say? Very frustrating and uh, back to the drawing board. Well folks, that's all the time this week for your dose of real Africa. Join us next time on TIA as we finish up this incredible safari. Next time on the season finale of This Is Africa, Andy and his hunters track down the leopard they've been after and they help locals deal with a nuisance elephant that has been terrorizing their fishing village.